saints of God, welcome to John's channel for the glory of the Lord God Almighty, our Savior Jesus. What have I been doing? Seven months, I want to apologize for not being here. Been going through a lot of persecution, a lot of tribulation, and being refined in the finer's fire, refiner's fire to be made pure like the rest of us in the name of Jesus. So, um, six, seven months ago, I want to start off with the uh, Georgia Gallstones. That's about the last video I made. Uh, God wrote the Ten Commandments twice. The reason they destroyed them is because they're going to write them in the sky when they come as the enlightened beings. They're going to write their Ten Commandments in the sky and uh, trying to imitate and mock God, which is not possible because God is not easily mocked. We give him praise and glory all day. And then uh, I was getting sprayed in Stanislaus County with GMO mosquitoes, little tiny black ones. You've never seen them before. You kill them. They have no blood in them. They come in and sneak around, and sneak attack, and bite you in the back of your calves. And uh, then I saw this mosquito abatement guy. He says, I sit on the mosquito abatement board uh, here in Stanislaus County. And I, I, basically, I spoke for all of us on behalf of all of us and gave him, uh, uh, boldly told him in the name of Jesus Christ, he's going to be facing judgment with Billy Bob Gates of hell. She'll never prevail against us. And uh, the next day, the GMO mosquito stopped. Then I went up to the fire at the Oregon, uh, Wairika, California border, Oregon border. And I filmed um, the sensationalism they were doing in the media with the fire. We know there's a bunch of sensationalism going on in the media. That's all they do because their father is the father of all lies. And that is the image of the beast. And all they knew how to do is lie, these sons of hell, these brood of vipers. But they have no effect on us because we forge ahead in the name of Jesus, looking for the glorious appearance of his coming at the last trumpet. Um, so I filmed the fire and I talked to people. They said everyone in the town was evacuated. No one was evacuated. There was only a small plume of smoke. And then as I'm going down the road on I-5, going up I-5, heading into Oregon, um, I got almost ran over by the 18-wheeler uh, Jeep, one in front and one behind me. And Jesus was at the wheel, so we're okay. So um, no matter what they try to do and persecute us, we give glory to the Lord God because Jesus suffered was persecuted. And we will also, we are not greater than the master. So, um, after all that, then I tried to, uh, my mom was uh, getting put in a rest home. I tried to bring her home. I was very brokenhearted when my, uh, some family members decided to put her in there permanently. Then I went up to Oregon. My son called me. He hadn't really been a part of my life for 10 years. And uh, Jesus Christ, as a shepherd, shall not lose one sheep. For 10 years, the child, his name's Daniel, please lift him up in prayer in the name of Jesus. Uh, he was under affliction and oppression, and then Jesus Christ has set him free. And he's found Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior and accepted him. And he believes in faith that Jesus Christ is the King of kings and Lord of lords. So hallelujah. Every day I wake up with a smile thanking God for saving my son, Daniel. Lift him up in prayer. Um, and so there's blessings. Any of you have children out there you're praying for, don't give up. Me and uh, family and I've been praying for my son for 20 years now. And, and the Lord has set him free. So your family members can be set free. Earnest prayer. Uh, the earnest prayer of a righteous people availeth much. Availeth much. And so the point of it is, the point of it is, we'll endure to the end, saints. We were born for this day. And um, there's a lot of psyops going on in the world. Sure, look at all, they're spraying us with chemicals. Did you know? Anybody know they're spraying us with chemicals? Uh, there's chemicals being released to the sky with a railroad, train derailment. And uh, boy, this is horrible, isn't it? I'll tell you what. These are the last days, folks. It's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse. And the collapse will probably come later on this year. And the tribulation will be starting next year. And I'll be meeting you all there at the cross, formed by the eclipse on April 8, 2024. But all the psycholo psychological operations that go on in the world are meant to distract, dismay, leave people distraught. We wish to have none of it. We will glory in our tribulations and give thanks to God. Thanks to the God. Thanks to God Almighty, the one true God. Um, so I just want to talk about the uh, look up psyop, the kingdom of heaven. And when Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is within and the kingdom of heaven does not come with observation, that means we will not find it. One will not find it by looking for it. 
Lo, it's over here. Lo, it's over here. Oh, it's coming from so-called space. When the enlightened beings come to set the utopia and the kingdom of God upon the earth, which we know Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this earth. And Satan is the prince of the power of the air and the airwaves. And I've been telling people for 30 years what the beast system is, what the mark of the beast is, and what the image of the beast is. 30 years now. Praise God for his glory. And be assured that I'm out there every day telling people the end time message, even when I'm not making videos. Um, but the kingdom of heaven is not come by observation. Meaning, the kingdom of heaven came when Jesus was resurrected and the day of Pentecost came. That's the kingdom of heaven, see? Look up. You ever heard that song, uh, Lift Up Your Eyes? Isaiah 40, 26, Lift Up Your Eyes on High. There's a song by Third Day. Lift up your face. Lift up your face, salvation is coming, salvation is coming your way. So it's an expression, things are looking up. Uh, we're going to be caught up in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet to be in our spiritual bodies, our glorified spiritual bodies. Oh, we are not looking for the kingdom of God to come upon this earth, but this whole world is setting it up for the so-called enlightened beings to come uh, Here's a scenario going to be, folks. There, Revelation, um, uh, blah, 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 look up, your redemption draweth nigh. Look up for your redemption draweth nigh. Many people are fond of saying that. And also, um, moreover, the one that really gets me is the, uh, hurry, Jesus, come. Hurry, as if you could tell Jesus when he's supposed to come. To hurry up. Uh, no one knows the day and the hour of his return is at the last trumpet. So, the kings of 19, Revelation 16, Revelation 19, 11 through 19, the kings of the world fight against Jesus at his second coming, and we will come with him at that time as the last trumpet. After the two witnesses are caught up and ascend to heaven, then the rapture, the catching away, will follow shortly thereafter. But um, the kings will fight against Jesus, so they're not going to waste all their ammunition uh, to uh, stage alien invasion and, and wipe out this world. They're going to use weather warfare, the war and the purge, and all these um, disasters as we see happening now. And because, so they're going to stage it with a simulation, as Project Bluebeam says. And I knew all about this in 1994 in January before I heard about Project Bluebeam. The Lord revealed this to me for his glory, okay? And I've been saying the same stuff for 30 years about the end times, so, I'm feeling really good about this. <laughs> Looking forward to it all, being a soldier of Christ in these last days, the war against the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. So, they're going to use Project Bluebeam to stage a short alien invasion. It'll probably be a computer simulation of holograms in the sky, which is part of the Antichrist beast system, images of the beast. And, um, and then they will say that Trump's space farce, t Rump space farce, has made contact and the enlightened beings are coming. And they're saying the kingdom of God upon the earth, making all the weather to stop climate change and bringing all the cure for all sickness and disease. And people that receive the hand in the retina scan will be promised everlasting life, hooked up to their virtual reality computers. We know Jesus Christ is the only one to give us everlasting life. So there's a lot going on in the world. Um, a lot of illnesses, a lot of, a lot of things going on with people. And I just want to lift everybody up in the name of Jesus. Now they're glad to be back and I'm not going anywhere. We're going to stand here all day and all ways and having done all with all the armor of God on <laughs> in the name of Jesus. So just want to read, uh, let's read number six, 24. Uh, let's read number six, 24. Speak unto Aaron and to his son, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance unto thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon children of Israel, and I will bless them. And we are the children of Israel. We are spiritual Israel. Everything that's going on in that nation, the Rockefellers found it is a distraction. Okay, Even the Euphrates River is drying up as a distraction because... Uh, that doesn't happen until the, to prepare the way for the kings of the east, and we're not at that part yet. So the last thing I want to read is there's a lot of persecution going on in the world, especially in America, right? You've all been so persecuted in this country here. But it doesn't matter what's going on in the world. If we're standing in the name of Jesus Christ, saints of God, 
For I reckon that the sufferings, Romans 8, 18, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And also, who shall separate us, Romans 9, 35, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter and all their fake sports like the in the national championship football game. That's why they had TCU in it, so they could have the sheep being led to the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which in Christ Jesus, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And we thank you, God Almighty. We have thankfulness to you, thankfulness for you, Lord God, for you see us through all things, and you will lead us into battle by your own right hand, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I lift you all up in the name of Jesus today. May you all be blessed. May you grow in faith. May you endure to the end in these last days. I love you all. Thank you, Jesus. What's up, Bruce?